So we're going to look at fuels. We're going to look at lots of different types of fuel, including raised fuels. We're going to see how a lot of these raised fuels actually contain less energy than conventional fuels, but they help the car to make more power. So we're going to see how that works. So we're going to use the British thermal unit measurement. Now one BTU is effectively the heat you would get from burning a single match. So in terms of the gasoline engine, you were looking at 18,400 BTUs per pound of gasoline. If we move to ethanol, we find that the BTUs in ethanol is 9,750 per pound. If we went to methanol, it's slightly less than ethanol at 9,500 BTUs per pound. Now, methanol is quite nasty because it corrodes aluminium if the aluminium is not correctly anodized. So it causes a lot of extra wear and tear of the engine. So it's certainly not a fuel you can just dump in your tank and get away with using. The energy rating of nitromethane is 5,000 BTUs per pound. So going back to what we said at the beginning about different fuels containing different energy levels and that a lot of these race fuels actually contain less energy than the non-race fuels, why is it you can make more power when you use these race fuels if they contain less energy? Let's have a look at those figures again, but we're going to add an important set of numbers, the air to fuel ratio. This is the mixture of fuel and air that you need to make combustion. And if that varies too much, you just won't get a very good ignition or burn from that fuel. The air fuel mix for gasoline is round about 14.7 to 1 in order to get that good clean ignition and burn. If we move to ethanol we find that the BTUs in ethanol is 9750 per pound and the air to fuel ratio is 9 to 1 so it's a lower air to fuel ratio. If we went to methanol it's slightly less than ethanol at 9500 BTUs per pound. The air fuel ratio for that is 6 to 1. Then we come to the big daddy, the one that everyone's talking about, the ultimate race fuel, nitromethane. The energy rating of nitromethane is 5,000 BTUs per pound, but the ratios it should be mixed in is just 1.7 to one. So nitromethane is actually very explosive. It should be handled with extreme caution and lots of adjustments need to be made to the car in order to use it effectively and safely. As it burns, it releases nitric acid vapor, which is really nasty stuff. So all of those in the pit crew and those working on the engine need to have some kind of protection against those fumes that the engine is creating. So the key benefit of using these race fuels or higher spec fuels fuels that actually contain less energy is the fact that you can use more fuel to the air that you're getting into the engine and that is where you add the power. We really hope that this video has been interesting to you. There is so much more we can talk about with fuels but we try and just keep these very concise and punchy. Subscribe to the channel, we've got more interesting stuff coming up. Let us know in the comments if you've done any of these mods to your car and about things you'd like us to cover in the future and we'll put that on our production schedule and make sure that we provide the topic that interest you, our readers. So thanks for watching. And if you're interested in tuning cars, stay tuned to Talk Cars. Thanks for watching. Bye.